During ASMO 2023, we presented the results of the ANGOT 611 GOG 3047 Keynote A18 trial, evaluating for the first time the rule of pembrolizumab immunotherapy in combination with chemoradiation in locally advanced high-risk cervical cancer. Since 1999, the treatment of locally advanced cervical cancer patient is being represented by concomitant chemoradiation, followed by brachytherapy. But the intent of this trial was to demonstrate an increase in progression-free and overall survival when we combine immunotherapy with chemoradiation. We enrolled 1,060 patients and we randomized this patient to concomitant chemoradiation followed by brachytherapy with placebo or concomitant chemoradiation followed by brachytherapy in combination and maintenance with pembrolizumab. The trial had the two primary endpoints, progression-free and overall survival. Here we presented the, the, the final results for progression-free survival and the, the interim analysis for overall survival. At the final results, progression-free survival was improved in Pembro-treated patients. With an other ratio of 0.30, we had a significant and clinically meaningful increase in progression-free survival. Overall survival is not yet mature. Only less than 50% of the requested number of events has already been placed. But still, a trend toward an increase in overall survival was reported with an acceleration of 0.73. But the most interesting part is that the toxicity profile of the combo was probably even better than expected. Considering that the difference in grade 3, 4 adverse event between the two arms was no more than 5%, and considering that only one patient in Pembro arm discontinued treatment because of side effects which were not treatment related. And all of this did not impact in quality of life of patients because we evaluate quality of life with the DRTC QLQ C30 and no difference between the two treatment arms were reported. I think this trial will change the clinical practice. For sure, we are conservative. We are waiting for overall survival, final results, but still a reduction in the risk of progression of 30% in this setting where the treatment is potentially curative, it's of utmost importance and this is clinically relevant.